<laughs> so, yeah. Greg, I have a question for you. Mm-hmm. So, I need a little more autism. So, um, these people. Fully pe- woke. <laughs> fully woke. No, but so, just for whatever. Mo- okay. So, the people I go to school with who are like the ones throwing parties that the Congress people got shot at and mm-hmm. all of this stuff. And they're. For charity, though. So, don't For charity. Us. Right, right. And they're, you know, s- hardcore socialist. What is it? Marxists? Yeah. They're, they're, you, they're g- usually you're a Marxist, but they'll they'll consider themselves basically just a leftist and anti fascist. Okay. Um, and they. A Marxist, socialist, or a welfare liberal. Okay. A progressive. And they see, and all they do is post about how much they hate you know republicans and democrats and they hate it so much and how um police officers and um politicians are just as bad as like hitlers and the right. army is just like they go they go to the career immediate fair. extreme right and they go to the career fair at ball state and they hand out um like right by the army like the students ROTC for a democratic stuff. society right but right by the rotc table they hand out pamphlets saying like do you want to become a killer like yeah wanna, right so why are they like if it doesn't work if the people of the Soviet Union, right, got oh, no, tired of it? It's a, no one, the right people haven't. It's so, right. like, so it's why about are they perfecting society. So, like, the idea is that they're these social planners who know best, elites. Okay. And this goes, like, all the way back to Plato's Republic, and that we will breed this class of elites who are the governing class. They'll know best for you stupid people. They'll make the decisions. We'll get rid of poverty. We'll get rid of um, war. All these, it's it's with originally good intentions. Right. If you just give us the amount of control we need in order to do it, we'll get the right people there. Right. The problem is, th- there are these. There aren't any mythical bureaucrats. I mean, have you ever met anyone? You're like, God, I'd just willingly give over everything because they know best. No. It's it's a false idea. <laughs> what ends up happening? <laughs> I mean, yes. And, w- outside the realm one. of libertarianism. Dear leader. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, like, so the, like, like, that's the thing with Bernie. Bernie rails against corruption and wants justice. He wants a fair playing field for everybody. All good, well intended things. The point is, the government's the institution that allows mm-hmm. for the corruption. That's yeah. the actual, the actual structure that allows for things to become corrupt because people, when given the opportunity to exploit something for personal gain, are going to, regardless of how pure they are. Yeah. Not everybody's Jesus Christ. You know, they have a career. They need to provide for a family. Mm-hmm. So they're going to take beyond the take. So these people have the right intentions. They just can't trying to solve. They're, they're trying to solve the problems government creates with more government. Tom, it's like trying to fix cancer with more cancer. And Tom, do you think sorry, go ahead. Tom Woods had on uh, there's a guy, a podcaster that I really love this podcast. It's called the Eastern Border. And uh, the podcast on Tom Woods was called a gallop through Soviet history. And, uh, and and they were breaking down some of the arguments. And inevitably, you always, in, you get into an argument with one of these people. It's, well, communism in the Soviet Union wasn't actual communism. They, it was imperfect. It was corrupted. But if, if it had been Bernie, it would have been, if or we could, Trotsky had been the one that won. Exactly right. There's always a caveat. And it always is going to come down with these people to, really, if I were in charge, like, it, it, it's it's a very uh, selfish thing. Oh, it's complete. Central it's, planning, yeah. I know best for everybody. And that's, right. it's funny, like, all of Western civilization comes down to that. I mean, the battle of Plato and Aristotle, Plato's best student. Aristotle said, you're right, in your republic, if centralized control in the theoretical realm, that could be the perfect society. Mm-hmm. That's why Aristotle said, I only, the A is A. I can only experience what I my life is. And that's why you have to decentralize everything and have give power to the people rather than some elite governing. Not that you'll have a better outcome, but that because it's the safer bet against tyranny. Right. And that's been the argument of all of Western civilization since. Mm -hmm. So do you think these people, because like I said, it's just in an alarming rate, they're joining this movement. Do you think they'll change? 10 15 years I yeah they'll moderate and Facebook. like i have you know they'll definitely as they have to actually earn money and they can't just go around you know like because bernie sanders really is like this guy was like a gypsy drifter got a, a job in government got elected mayor at 40 he yeah. was a nobody he was Nothing, a loser he was a total loser till basement 40. dwelling mouth breather i right. kind of love bernie sanders not gonna lie. i mean you know his appeal is right all yeah. of his intentions are good the problem is he's trying to fix cancer with more cancer. Yeah. No, not, I agree. But then, and also, we live in a democracy. There's transition, regime change. If he, it were constant and he were the one white knight willing to watch over everything, maybe, you know what, maybe he would do it. Right. But at the end of the day, he has to rely on such a big bureaucracy with people he doesn't know 
who don't have a vested interest in him staying in office that they're going to go after and take it care of me. But I still kind of love him. E- even somebody yeah, like... His intentions are pure. He's even, an honest I, Democrat. I love that about him. He's great. So you have Lennon. Lennon takes over. Uh, and then you have a war between Trotsky and Stalin. Stalin. And Stalin was uh, not as charismatic of a speaker. Uh, he and, and he was in charge of the secret police. You had... Uh, Trotsky, who was in charge of the Red Army, he was the philosophical, f- philosophical backbone. He was this charismatic speaker. I mean, people to this day still say that they're Trotskyist, right. or like you know, Trotskyism rather than Marxism, because he expounded upon it. Right. So, but then the problem is you've got crafty people like Stalin who make themselves the secretary general of the party, and they start. He starts. He he runs the machinery of the party. He's the operator. He starts putting people into the party, the into the controlling of the Soviet Union, that uh, are loyal to him. He gives them the jobs. He's the bureaucratic guy that makes sure that everybody goes in certain places. And Trotsky is so busy being esoteric and being the thought Ivory leader tower. that he doesn't realize that he's not getting invited to meetings, that his people aren't getting invited to meetings until finally Lenin dies and he is not told about when and where services are and he's not there. And then all of a sudden, Stalin is anointed the leader of the Soviet Union. And, and then he hires the, you know, sends the KGB to Mexico City and puts a uh, uh, axe in Trotsky's head. Right. I mean, and so, so you, the... The, the a lot of what your college age friends believe are just fairy tales. They're things that are not based in the real human existence. They're not based in how the human animal works. They're and not, idealism can only be moderated with experience. Exactly right. And so it's just going to take time. I'm not worried about these kids. They'll figure it out. But like when they say things like healthcare is a is a, a right, they're saying that they would that because of that. They could. They would walk to a doctor's home, put a gun to his head, and say, "Go fix them for free." Right. Mm-hmm. That's the implication, and so that's yeah. ridiculous because then they're going to be like, "Well, no, but I don't. You know, I'm not. I'm not pacifist. Mm-hmm. Right. Kumbaya, all. Let's hand out flowers." Right. But you want somebody else with a gun to do it for right. you. Right. It's it's easier when it's right. not you. Yeah. It's less feels that way. 